Hey everybody, this is Ori from Astro Web, and today I'm going to teach you how to transfer your domain name to apply your own custom domain name to a Shopify store. So whenever you set up a store, when you're developing a store, when you're making it, you have a temporary domain, uh, something.myshopify.com, and obviously you want to have your own business or own uh, personal domain name, and so you need to set it up, and this video is to show you how to set it up. And what are the two aspects of things you need to do with your DNS to set up the domain name so it works and Shopify uses that one? Okay, so what are the two things? Number one, you need to specify uh, via DNS that your domain is using Shopify servers. That's number one. And we use A records and C name records, which we'll get into. The second thing you need to do is you need to add this TXT records to allow Shopify to send emails on your behalf. So what kind of emails? Register emails, customer emails, uh, order emails, things like that. So you need to allow Shopify to send on your behalf. Um, that's a very simple explanation of it, but basically you specify a setting so less domain providers, less uh, email providers will actually filter you as spam. So actually the emails will be delivered better. That's a, a better explanation for it, okay? So let's show you how to do it. Let's do one with a real, real example. So I have a site right here. I have a My Shopify domain, and I wanna set it up with a domain that I'm gonna just do for this video only, just for example, okay? So what do I do? First of all, I go to my back end and I go to online store and I click on domains. And when I do that, you'll see the dot my Shopify domain. Now you want to connect a new domain. So you can either buy a domain from Shopify or you can transfer the ownership from one registrar, for example, GoDaddy or Big Host or HostGator or any of these and transfer it. Or you can actually just specify the DNS records and that's it. So I'm going to do the connect existing domain, which means you have purchased your domain name from a different source and you're actually connecting it. So this is the most popular method, but you could also have Shopify host it and then the, the flow would be uh, slightly longer, but also slightly more simple because you're letting Shopify do all the DNS records for you. Okay. So I'm going to click on connect existing domain and I'm going to put the domain in. And in this case, I'm using a domain called circuit.com and I'm gonna click on next. Now, when I did that, it'll check who registered your uh, domain name, right? So you purchase, for example, you pay $10 a year for it. Who purchased that or who is uh, managing it? In my case, it's GoDaddy, but you might have a different provider. So if it's a uh, provider that Shopify recognizes, then you will actually be able to much easier connect it automatically. You're going to basically click. There's going to be an, uh, a pop-up window, and you're going to actually specify your login for GoDaddy or for whatever provider, and it's going to authorize Shopify to read and modify the data for them, right? So it's going to do it a little faster. Sometimes you don't want to do that. Either you don't trust them or, or you have a registrar that doesn't, actually uh, automatically connect with Shopify. Shopify doesn't recognize them or is not, you know, they're not that big. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the connect manually version, which allows you to follow these steps for no matter what kind of registrar you have, okay? So I'm gonna click on connect manually, and now I have to follow the instructions. So what are the instructions? I already saved them up here so we can do it. So number one on the instructions is you will have to specify the A record and the TXT record, okay? So what, I'm, what am I gonna do? For, first of all, I'm gonna provide all this in the, the YouTube description, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna copy this IP address, okay? And I'm gonna set up an A record. An A record is just a, a way to point that your domain is gonna go to a certain IP, a certain server, right? So you're telling this domain is gonna use Shopify servers. So I'm gonna go to my GoDaddy registration and I'm editing my circuit so I basically I went to GoDaddy, I clicked on domain name servers, I clicked on my domain and domain DNS management. And I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna add a record, which is an A record, okay? And I'm gonna do the host and I'm gonna specify this, so it basically means my domain name. It's gonna point to the IP address that was specified, okay? You can keep that TTL, the time to live, uh, the fresh, how, how often it'll re-request, you can keep it as the default, one hour is fine, okay? And I'm gonna, so this, so part one is I'm putting the A record for this, okay? Number two is if you have your domain, for example, circuit.com, right? Circuit.com. If you also wanna do www.circuit.com, 
then you can you can also which you typically should do you're gonna click here on add you're gonna click here on C name you're gonna type in www and you're gonna go to the instructions you're gonna copy this it's shops.myshopify.com and you're gonna place it in the points too and you're gonna save it so this is step number one okay so once you do that and you finished it correctly you can go back here and you can click on verify connection what is that going to do? Shopify is going to query your domain and it's going to check that your settings are actually correct. So if you notice here, my A record is correct. It recognized that I put the IP, but my C name was not correct. So what did I do wrong in this case? Usually uh, it's not something wrong. It just means that the domain name, once you save it, sometimes these things take time to actually propagate. So sometimes you just gotta wait a minute or two or in some, some uh, providers you might have to wait an hour or two, right? So it really depends. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna verify again and I need to make sure that both my A record and my C name record are verified, okay? And again, sometimes it might take a little while but don't, you know, it, these, are, these are normal. These are things that y it might even take up to 24 hours in some cases but usually they're within a few minutes maximum, okay? So I did it. And as you can see right here, my dona domain was successfully connected. Now, once you do that, Shopify is, c is already connected, but if you notice, it says here SSL pending. What is the SSL? It basically means that you can have a secure connection, a HTTP connection with a padlock right here. And this process is gonna be pending by um, Shopify. And I've seen this take between um, about 15 or 30 minutes <clears throat> up to about five or six hours so in some cases you might have to wait a little bit and what I recommend is if you can actually do the DNS before the the, the hour that you want to launch you could do it earlier the day before for example and then you put a, a, a password then that would be usually be better but if just just so you know if you're about to launch and you want to launch at 9 a.m in the morning and you do that at 9 a.m your site might not be available and working because of this thing so i want to just you know alert that i've seen many times it's taken many hours for this okay um so let's do one more thing right now this the second thing is you have to configure the emails so we're going to go here to these instructions, which I'll link as well, and we're going to create a TXT record with this information right here. Okay, so I'm going to copy all the way down here. Okay, what it's doing is just saying, hey, I, I, I recognize Shop Shopify as one of the senders and all the providers like Gmail and Hotmail and Yahoo Mail, they're going to they're gonna use this data to try to reduce their spam. So if you authorize Shopify, they won't put it in the spam, or at least you'll have less chance, right? So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go back to my DNS, I'm gonna add a TXT record right here. Here's a TXT record and the host again is this at sign and I'm gonna put the value in right here as long as I copied it correctly, it should be here and that's it, I finished. So the DNS settings should be finished, okay? So once I go here, I can refresh the page and that's it and so all I have to do now is wait Okay, here, here everything looks good. And now if I go to my website, okay, I go to my website, okay, still redirected. So my DNS on my browser is still not connected. Let's see here. This looks good. And we should, and you see here it's a primary domain. So that's it. So all I have to do is wait for, for uh, my computer, my browser to recognize the new DNS. And once I do that, let me go right here, circuit.com, okay, and so now that's it, now it's connected, so now this is my password for my Shopify site, if I want to unlaunch it, I can go here to online store preferences, and I can disable my password right here, and I can save it, okay, and now I can go to my website, let's go back and I have my site now. So that's it, those are the two settings for DNS that you have to do to specify which servers are hosting your website and to deliver email better. I hope this video made, made sense for you guys. If you have any questions about subdomains, about other DNS settings, it doesn't work for you, you're not sure what I was talking about, I'll be happy to explain more, do some more videos, just ask questions in the comments. 
and I really appreciate you guys listening to our videos. Uh, subscribe if you like. Uh, we're making more and more Shopify videos, Magento videos, uh, e-commerce, Google Analytics, marketing, emails, all these things, more and more with better quality. And I'll take your guys' suggestions and happy to help. So thank you again for listening. Appreciate it.